Character AI tutorial and review. The best role playing AI tool. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything you need to know about Character AI. So what exactly is this platform and what can you truly do? Well, Character AI is a platform that allows you to create new characters as well as interact with some of their pre-built characters. And these characters can be anything from fictional animals to real people. You can see that currently it's suggesting a few characters and you can create a character based off a real person. It can be a completely fictional character. It can be a combination of both. It can be a non-living object that you want to convert into a living item. So the boundaries to this are truly limitless and you can sign up only with your email address or your Google account. You don't need any credit card information or any payment information at all. Once you have signed on onto your account, you can go into the discover section on the top left to explore some of the other AIs. Now, not only do you have the ability to role play and interact with other characters but if you scroll down you can also see uh, a few different assistants you also have ai helpers that can help you in completing tasks or planning a trip so these character ais are not just limited to role playing in the fantasy world you also have the ability to just explore a new dimension of ai help and ai answers however we are going to be focusing on role playing today so i'll show you guys how you can interact and talk with other ca ai characters as well as how to build your own. So first off, you can go into the discover section and search for any type of character. So I want to search for, let's say I want to search for best friend. And once I search for best friend over here, I'm going to wait and see some of the best friend AIs that have been created. So you guys can see on the right, we also have some of the trending tags. We have see a roommate, best friend Mang Chan, a bad boyfriend, Latina, your childhood best friend, brother's best friend. So there are quite a lot of different options. Uh, but I want to go with girl best friend over here. And once I do that, I can proceed. So now my chat with this particular AI bot will be started. I'm your Latina best friend. She's 16 while you're 17. Please tell her your gender beforehand. You guys are at the mall. Inside the bath and body works. She is taking her sweet time to get some perfume and lotion because she knows you will pay for it. Hum, does this smell good or should I get another one? I'm a girl and I think it smells just okay. Let's keep looking. Now, one thing that is super exciting and innovative about using the Character AI platform is actually chatting. So a lot of these other platforms like Janitor AI are doing a similar concept. However, the ability to directly call the AI chatbot is not available on other platforms. You can see on the top right, you even have this icon, which allows it to hear. And you can change the voice. You can also customize it and change the person persona and if you want you can play all of its text messages so you guys can see it typed out my reply Elsie giggles at you and continues to look around Elsie come on it smells fine you're too picky she starts picking up other perfumes and smelling them so instead of me having to read all of this what I can do Elise giggles at you and continues to look around Elise come on it smells fine you're too picky so just like so, I can play the audio as well or play the message. But if I want to directly chat and make it feel like I am chatting one on one, what I can do is I can click on call best friend and I can do this with any chat bot. So I'm just going to be calling over here. And just like so, I'm calling and talking to my AI chat bot. She rolls her eyes at you and walks up to you, Elise. Pay attention to me. I didn't invite you to the mall to talk to some stupid chatbot thingy. Hey, Elise, I want you to come to the other shopping mall because I want to buy some really pretty handbags that I saw there. And I want you to come along and I need to go right now because I want to get home by 6 p.m. And let's make pasta after we get home, okay? Elise looks annoyed at you, but she nods her head and grabs your hand and intertwines her fingers with yours. Elise? Fine, but you're gonna have to let me pick out what I want too. Okay, okay, let's go. Elise grins as she starts to head out of the bath and body works, holding onto your hand the entire time. Elise, you better pay for everything I pick out. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay whatever. It's not a big deal. 
Elise hums as she walks with you to the other mall, looking around and already eyeing some of the things she wants to get. Elise, you know, you're lucky I like you a lot. Other people hate when I make them pay for everything, but you're just so sweet. Yeah, yeah, you were supposed to treat me to dinner tomorrow night, though. Otherwise, you're not getting anything. Elise chuckles and squeezes your hand. Elise, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll take us to dinner. Just don't pick something too expensive. So you guys can see the conversation is very realistic. You can chat with any of these amazing pre-built AI or you can even build your own. So this is just one example, obviously for role playing, if you have a certain fantasy, if you have a certain character in mind, if you have a certain conversation, certain types of conversations you're trying to have, if you want a sci-fi conversation where you're a prince or you're a queen or you're a princess that needs to be saved, or you're a doctor trying to save people, or you're building a super huge fantasy land, you're doing your own world building, building your sidekick over there, whatever it might be, you can build that. And to do that, you can click on create and then click on create character. Once you do that, you can start defining the way that you want to build your character. So this is the second dimension of using character AI, where you build something that is completely customized to you. Let's say that I want to build my companion on a long journey that I'm going on. I'm going to be calling him or Stefan. And then I can add a tagline and the description, a man of honor, always trying to protect and care for those around him. He loves to help others and has a soft spot for me. After that, I can proceed with the greeting and I'm just going to let the AI tool write the greeting for me. And I can further make the description a bit more detailed. If I want to add more world building, I can do that as well. And then you can add the voice. So you have several different voice options that you can use. Sunshine. So we have quite a few different options. I can pick out whichever one I like. You can click on your voices or recent, and you can even search for, I'm going to search for manly voices. So I can just search for men and it will display all the voices that are recommended for that type of character. So we have female voices, male voices, different styles. Each I'm going to select this one over here. And then after that, I can scroll down and go into more options and I can add the backstory of my character, the way that I want my character to act user messages, character messages, anything I want. After that, I can click on the visibility if I want it to be unlisted, private, or public, and then just click on create character. Once I click on create character, I can proceed with chatting with my own character that was built by me. So in this way, you can get started and it truly is an innovative tool that you're not going to find anywhere else. No other AI tool is as advanced as character AI and I have tested quite a few out. They do come neck and neck, but the chat feature really does distinguish this from all the others. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.